Next news is out of Iran. Nuclear weapons are forbidden in Islam, says Iran's Khamenei. Supreme Leader Khamenei. Ayatollah Ali... What? Khamenei. Khamenei yes. said Wednesday that Iran could have taken a step to develop nuclear weapons, but said that their use is actually harem, um, which haram, which is so it's forbidden. Haram. haram. Yes, Thank sir. you, Armin. No, no, no. Or forbidden in Islam. Um, he said, end quote, although we could have taken steps on this path based on Islamic ruling, we firmly and bravely said we won't take this path. Um, both building and stockpiling is wrong and using it is haram. He told a group of academics in a video posted uh, on his office's Twitter account. And then he continued by saying, if we had a nuclear weapon, it would have been obvious that it would have been impossible for us to use anywhere. Under Islamic principles, it's definitely haram. Yeah, and just to be clear to you guys, a lot of people might say, oh, taqiyya, taqiyya. He can't, he can't, first of all, if you, if you say taqiyya when you hear something like this, and he's lying, obviously, if they use it, uh, if they have it, they will use it. Then you don't understand how anything in Shia Islam works. By the way, this is obviously, uh, uh, do I need to go to the basics and explain to the people who this guy is and why he, what he says is important, or, or, or are we beyond that right now? Okay, so Khamenei is obviously the main uh, supreme religious uh, leader in Iran uh, what he says is basically treated <laughs> without officially anybody admitting that it's kind of treated s somewhat close to the word of God <laughs> right and again that might be a slight exaggeration but not a lot of a lot you know um, it, you know it, what he says is is accepted as Islam Okay, and by not Shias, because a lot of Shias actually hate him, but the Shias that do follow the Vilayat Faqi ideology version of Shia Islam, which is most religious people in Iran, they consider what this guy says as just sacred, without admitting it infallible. And this guy, the amount of control and the amount of... Um, you know what he says goes like basically I can tell you the president position in Iran is just a puppet position with no real power because this guy is the real power and you cannot say or go or do anything against whatever he says and if you can't even disagree with him you can't just even disagree with him if you openly disagree with him that's like yeah you're probably gonna get executed right just saying like oh he's wrong it's a crime um, maybe not officially on the books as a crime, but good luck. Try that. Like go like, hey, I, I like, I, I love this guy. I love Khamenei, but I think he was wrong about this. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Um, you're gonna get arrested and executed. Um, but just uh, so you, you cannot s just say that. Again, you, a lot of people think might think I'm naive by saying this. But you cannot just, if he says something like this, if he, he makes a religious ruling that he thinks that using nuclear weapons is haram, again, a lot of people from Iran are going to be upset by me saying this, but, but as long as this guy al is alive or as long as this regime is in place, they cannot go back on this. Like something major has to happen in Iran to, for somebody to come and say, oh, Khamenei was wrong. And it's not forbidden and we are allowed to use nuclear weapons, right? If this guy says it's haram and we cannot ever use nuclear weapons. And by the way, this is not new. He had said this a, a while back as well, but he's saying it again now. And that's why it's on the news. But if he, if he says it's haram and it's not, it's, you cannot use it, then nobody will dare even suggest otherwise in Iran. And nobody will be able to use it in Iran, even if they did have it. Okay, and just understand, just so you guys understand, you have to. Is I'm not defending the Islamic Republic of Iran. Islamic Republic of Iran is a theocracy. It's uh, it's has it's it needs to end. It needs some it needs to be toppled, uh, maybe from within. Um, and I don't know if it, I don't think it would, but. Um, the, it, it has is it's responsible for many 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 human rights violations and it's an oppressive barbaric backwards regime but it's also a very smart and strategic regime and people dismiss these religious people as maniacs um, and they're not they're extremely strategic they know what they're doing uh, and Iran would never use 
a nuclear weapon, even if they had it. Because these people are not suicidal, obviously, right? You have to try, if you want to understand your enemy, you have to steel man them. You have to try to think logically what they would do for their own survival, rather than thinking, oh, these are just crazy Muslims and they would bomb us and all oh, this is like, if they had a nuclear weapon, they would be like this and that. No, you have to put yourself in their position and be like, what would I do if I was them and I was trying to survive, right? You look around the world, why would they want to have nuclear? First of all, they claim my theory is, which could be completely wrong, is that Iran would knows that if, if it had nuclear weapons, it would be very, it would not be ideal on a, on a geopolitical, on a, on a in its position on a global scale. But also, if it doesn't have nuclear weapons, it's vulnerable, right? It would be the most ideal situation for Iran would be to be able to be in a position where it doesn't have nuclear weapons, but it has all the elements and all the equipments that it could go from not having a nuclear weapon to having a nu nuclear weapon within a very short amount of time, right? So you could be like, look, we don't have nuclear weapons, so get off our backs. But also we have the capability of making nuclear weapons, so mind your own business, right? But you look at, if you look at, if you were in the position, you looked at Libya, right? And you looked at Iraq, okay? Um, and if you look at these countries, these are countries that give in to the United States. And they like, Saddam said, hey, bring these people, check, I don't have weapons. And Libya, like, here's my weapons, uh, United States, please be friends with me. And they did that, and what happened? They, both, they got invaded after they gave in to United States demands, right? And we're like, okay, well, why would we disarm or why would we give in to United States demand given the history of countries like Libya? And, uh, you, you think like, oh, they tell us, like, if you just give away your weapons and if you just do this and that, then you're going to have better relationships with the West and the world and it's gonna, the economy is going to open up to you. Like, yeah, sure, look at, look at Saddam and look at Libya, right? Look at Gaddafi. That didn't happen to them. They gave in and then they got attacked. Uh, but if you look at North Korea, they're like, hey, look at North Korea. They have nuclear weapons and the United States is not like, is trying to like, hey, let's negotiate, let's negotiate. Hey, come, please, please talk to us, talk to us. Like, look. They're, res they're respecting North Korea because they have nuclear weapons and they attacked Libya and Iraq right after they gave up their weapons and left they accepted you know people to come in and check for look for weapons so what based on their history of and look at the courts now right anyways so based on the history of the United States the way it treats its allies and the way it treats the people that are trying that say like okay fine let's see if we could work this out and given that people that know actually defy United States and s try to stand strong, why would we do that? Why would we like, obviously United States has proven that they shouldn't be worked with. So they strategically, it makes sense for them to do what they're doing. Again, I don't think Iran saying all that. I, I do think Iran wants to have nuclear, nuclear energy. I don't think I, they want to have nuclear weapons. But again, Khamenei didn't say it's forbidden in Islam to have um, nuclear energy, right? It's just nuclear weapons, right? Again, and if they have nuclear energy, the whole world would know that it's still scary enough for us to attack. And again, so I already made it clear. But if you disagree, this is all could be co could be wrong. This is based on my understanding and what I've seen. But if you disagree, let me know. And if you say taqiyah, by the way, then you don't understand how taqiyah works and what the purpose of it is. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, 
Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.